Into the newsroom shows the moment police and state troopers trapped the man suspected of killing a Bothell police officer. At one point, the suspect was on the roof of a building, then jumped off. And that's when the SWAT team moved in. Hours earlier, before that arrest, another Bothell man found himself right in the path of that suspect. Uh, Kyra 7's North Sound Bureau reporter Ryan Sims spoke to him at his Bothell home. Ryan, how is he doing? Well, they're doing all right, but it's a long road to, uh, to recovery. Now, it was right here on this corner where those two young, young men were riding lime scooters. That's when a car blasted through this intersection. One of them was hit. That car kept going. They thought this whole situation was over. Uh, that is until they heard gunshots. First thing I thought was if I land wrong, I'm probably dead. But at the same time, I didn't know what else to do. Jalen Irvin bears all the marks of trauma. Essentially, the big black spot is dry blood. Everything around it's mostly dry blood, too. This aspiring film director is getting quite the attention himself this week. On Monday, he and a friend were riding on Lime scooters here in Bothell when out of nowhere, a car barreled right toward them. He said he had just seconds to react. The impact sent Jalen flying 50 feet. And get this, he never lost consciousness and remembers the entire thing. All I saw was the sky and kind of like a vignette. Um, and then I knew my arms were up and my legs were out. And when I was, when I, by the time I was on the floor, I guess I spun enough that my pants flew to my ankles and my shirt flew up to my chest. Within seconds, Jalen's friend was helping him, but then they were shaken yet again, this time by gunshots. Hopefully he's not either coming for me or anybody else around me. Jalen says he realized the gunshots must be tied to the driver who just hit him. It was only later that he found out just how tragic this situation truly was. As soon as I found an officer was killed, that was uh, the only thing that really went through my mind because I didn't really feel like any of this was necessary for that. Doctors say Jalen has six to eight months of recovery ahead of him, yet he plans on making two stops in the very near future, dropping off flowers at Officer Jonathan Shoup's memorial, and he also wants to see the driver accused of hitting him and murdering Officer Shoup. Hopefully I'll see you in court. And that's the last time anybody sees you, hopefully. Now, the suspect in this case is Henry Eugene Washington. He faces a slew of serious charges, including murder, assault, and fleeing from police. A charging decision in this case is expected tomorrow. We are live in Bothell tonight. Ryan Sims, Cairo 7 News.